let's focus on the game. Goblins attacking on the Swofford and Nexus on the defense. For the champions and heroes on the Goblin side, we can see one dual blade, one longbow, one musket, everyone has heavy armor in form of one polax, two glaives, and a couple of hammers, mauls, and short swords. For the defenders, on in form of Nexus, we can see only one medium armor, everyone else in heavy city. Yeah, we can see Golan is doing a bit of the NA style with some army girls, but also some Coutiers as well. So they're definitely bringing the cap. They're also bringing some Sicalian militia. This is something they've learned from EU, I'm pretty sure. And they also bring some berserkers. If we look at the Nexus side, pretty heavy on the infantry. Uh, a couple of javelins there as well, though. So they are definitely looking to use them to poke and just one army, two army girls. The towers are there. The units are getting ready. Uh, as you said, it's a long map, so it takes a little while to get our units there. We can see that... Uh, uh, Nexus is actually starting to move around with the units, so also get, getting ready to make some sort of defense. So artillery is still operational in forms of two Quacha launchers, and they're going to rain fire very heavily. Pretty much full ammunition, I believe, is going to be used at, from what it looks right now on this push over here. Some Pike militia is going to forward rush, land next as well, and not too many units are around. You can see couple of landnets trying to hide here and wait for some assassination opportunities but other than that not too many units in the defenders they are going to give up a point for free as we said and as we expected so pretty clean let's take a look at uh, where nexus is going to defend next because the c point is pretty open for a quick rush because there's also the supply but same can be said for the b point uh, as it looks like the goblins are going for the c point it's very hard for a trap to land at the bottom of the stairs and you need some kind of ranged in order to actually clean these stalwarts that are there because the pikes they hit up uh like the the, the pikes that for the front for the rush they hit upwards and it's really hard to push down if you want to go there but as you can see you can trap on a supply so that can be very effective as oof that's a big hit on the javelins and so this is something nexus need to really watch on because they tried to they try to take um, advantage of this supply point being so close and try to put a pressure constant pressure with javelins and french well, units Goblins are coming down and look at this these zikalian militia that they brought they are already putting them to great use you can throw down zikalian militia bombs from so far away look at this it's almost like another trebuchet yes yeah. a trebuchet comes in at the same time amazing the high difference on, on this map is, is amazing on this point like this is 10 times higher than nexus times this uh, team is currently uh, defending on so Goblins yeah. definitely have the height advantage, but they need to run long. They need to run really long, uh, about 200 meters or so, to the supply point. So that's what they are going to do now. Now goblins, yes, they are pushing right now once more. Same side, but it seems like they are going to take faster approach. They don't want to lose that much health due to the poke. They don't want to repeat the mistake they did a moment ago, and they are pushing full force. Stalwarts, yep, going to be taken out in one second with such a force pushing, putting pressure on them but nexus a lot more on their back waiting to come here and help Attacks coming in from java uh, from imperial pikes side is going to be pressured from some stalwarts another pike advance is coming in and trebuchet in the middle of everything very intelligent very well placed trebuchet some assets are charging in but will this be enough yeah berserkers were just coming in from nexus but they got trapped full force as you can see that the goblins are starting to push to the left flank from nexus as Nexus looked for a little while that they actually had to flank on Goblins, but they got turned around. You can see that Nexus bring out the army girls because Goblins have to push for the supply unless they want to go for C and go to the final immediately, which is something that they can do. Yeah, and this is, is grouping up very, very fast. Yeah, and this this is something I am a bit uh, amazed uh, what uh, what is Goblins doing because this plus point is so close for Nexus, they can just take unit and defend, take unit and defend. Right, and that's what they are pretty much doing right now. They have switched a lot of units and they are still continuing to put the pressure on goblins as well as trying to flank them from all directions. This is very open point up here. The trebuchets are not playing in and they have still 11 of them in use. So this yeah. is quite interesting decision from goblins. Yeah, but at the end, that the end, it seems like they are going to do it. Yeah, it looks like it then, but this is dangerous from goblins. I mean, of course they do need a supply anyway. So, but you can see here, Nexus is what I was going to say. Nexus can actually start to flank goblins if they are not fast enough and it looks like that they aren't Oof. this is gonna hurt yeah they were very close right goblins almost had it they started to cap it very nicely uh, blocked one by one defenders 
from Nexus, uh, not allowing them to capture, and of course, cavalry and some other units from the flank, as we said. The, the flanks want to see um, them try to flank something as well, not go full force one direction. Maybe they could send some players to flank, maybe they could send some players um, to back or whatever, right? For now, full on force push through the gate here. Some Javanese are flying in from both sides. Stalwart pushing in. I don't see too many pikes. Only one advance seems to be moving forward. But this is going to be countered by short swords ultimates and another advances from Nexus. Uh, Stalwarts are slowly making their way forward. I believe attackers from Goblins have one more pike unit. And they are slowly but surely making their way in. Of course, all of the units from Goblins are quite low on health at that point. Under heavy fire from Nankas and everything else. But these horses, oh my god. These horses, last second, last moment horses, cleaning up everything. Yeah, whoa, this is amazing job by Goblins. They took out all the pikes and everything that can block them and just run through the enemy. Very well done, six players alive only from Nexus. Yeah, amazing push and look at this, they didn't even need a supply. We could see that Goblins in the previous fight also, they were winning uh, in terms of units. But they were still trying to go for the supply, this time the supply looks to be free. As they are here, they are capping, right? And he's going to overextend and die. That's a bit, yeah, that decision from Alex. And uh, looking at the players, most of the Nexus players were lost clans already. Most of them were killed, I think. But let's see what units they start to bring out. I wonder if they will defend this supply. They yeah. Be a bit too late. I think they need to try. I think they need to try because this supply gives them a little bit of coverage from trebuchets. Oh, they're on. Later on, this is open fire and right now yes the trebuchets are going to fly in if they will be able to catch it and move out of it this is shouldn't this shouldn't do too much da damage and right now goblins pushing in cavalry on the sides waiting they cannot flank from here so they are just waiting to do something i imagine similar like they did last time kill all the cavalry out uh, sorry kill all the pikes out and use the cavalry to clean up everything else right now trebuchets after trebuchet very good trebuchet usage they still have nine of them six minutes left so they should be more aggressive on trebuchet usage and uh, nexus trying to put some pressure on the back but this trebuchet is going to say nope you're not coming in here very well placed trebuchet very well timed and goblins they're going to clean up all this plus they are going to clean up all these arquebusers many heroes are going to die as well only six people alive from nexus and they are trying to try yeah they are trying to create at least some way of defense in the back point and here trying to block them for as much time as they can but with 240 units left and five minutes on the clock that's going to be going to be very very hard yeah actually listen look at this the goblins continue to make sure they have flanks army is already going to the side they're on it and their main team is coming in from the left side I do not think Nexus is going to be here in time with only five people left alive. How many players are out for them? Can we take a quick look? Uh, yeah. Um, one, one, two, three, two, four, three, five, four, five, six. six. So many. This is yeah. going to work out for them well. What a game. Already. Yeah, with four minutes on the clock and 100 units, it's definitely going to be the victory. If this would be one minute left, then yes, maybe they could do it one by one, but with so many alive from goblins and so many units alive 1000 units still so far into the game ah yeah. oh my god nexus was able to do it at least they managed to crush the numbers of goblins under 1000 units left so yeah, it's a well small played. victory in here <laughs> yeah, exactly that's a good start right i mean this game looked so close the numbers tell you differently but the defensors from nexus they were really good i think um and we know, again, they don't like to defend, so I'm really curious what we're going to see in the next game, but let's look at the stats first. Yep, and let's look at this. Oof, that's a rough graph. Out of short swords. What about the units? Yeah, we can see almost everybody has stalwarts again. Uh, goblins are using their common lineup, but again, with all the Zikali and Militia sprinkled in there, so I'm surprised they picked up on the Zikali and Militia so heavy this week. We can see Nexus is also bringing two Zikali and Militia, at least for now, but very happy on the Berserkers, uh, bringing seven in total. As the towers hit, we can already see uh, Nexus there on the walls, or on yeah. the top of the tower. Yeah, right. and they are using the same towers since life to climb. Uh, and Goblins, they are actually defending here uh, with just a couple of players, and this might not be that good for them in the long run, because Nexus, if they would decide to fight instead of putting A, they would have much more force and they could crush them quite easily yeah, totally. with trebuchets as well. 
I think goblins were just trying to bait them in. Uh, th this is a cover once more, but Nexus has a right on their tails. Uh, they yeah. might go really quickly. They are not uh, losing any time capturing C. Yes, and the, the A capture is totally free. So they are right now what they're trying to do is basically put a full on pressure and not allow goblins to even prepare for the defense on the later stages. And Vero coming in from behind, going to capture B point a little bit, followed by Lionhead, he will stop the capture, fortunately not, but you know, what damage is done is done and this is doing this really quickly. Yes, and they are rushing it fa quite fast with heroes only. Yon is going to take a moment to get they're up to the speed but they are going to crush them with the brute force of the numbers right now only heroes how aggressively played but yeah you are playing only versus one or two units why not that's a great push from their perspective and look at this the flames from Sikali militia they prevent any units from actually entering because they are on fire and they cannot enter anything uh looks like there is more coming in but they might not be able to be quick enough let's see if the star wars can move to the front Oh, this is going to be a big fight, for sure. Yeah, a lot of fire from Zekalia still left alive, but this is interesting uh, thing. They're opening the gate. Are they opening the gate? Yes, they are. Yeah, and they are going to cut, cut the, the, the supply and put the pressure on the back side. So this is going to be very, very heavy from Nexus. They really need to move fast or they will get crushed from both sides. Cavalry coming from the back, going to clean or try to clean as much as they can. And they are quite successful in doing so. Most of the Namkans, damage dealers, everything from behind is dead and the, the attack is over just like that yeah definitely it's just at the bottom of the stair that you cannot be trapped Oof, they almost hit themselves yep quite heavy on the trebuchet fire here and they're moving in a nice cover from the defenders goblins javelins flying in the kalian militia flying in everything flying in trying to hold them in and we have the front line happening here not too much yes two or three stalwarts but will this be enough nexus very heavy pushing forward a lot of stalwarts, a lot of pikes, a lot of imperial advances, but these goblins advance from the side. This was amazing for a moment until it was just put down. Yeah, it, was, it was immediately shut down and all of the Kalium militia, they are going to waste because all their bombs are missing. So this means that the uh, goblins, they might be defending with 15, but those units were not doing much at all. Let's see if Nexus can continue this push because they need to. Oh, they're going for C, it looks like, but there's armies yeah. coming in. Ninjas from side, not going to be that effective yet yeah and they're also closing down the supply route so i'm curious to see if they can actually cap see another army or coming in let's mm -hmm. see if they can catch this one yes they can but goblins is trying to rush over them using all their stalwarts all of them and look at oh this trap might be big let's see if it yeah, works out it will it will hit heavy in a moment it needs to move forward. right on top yeah right on top but it's a bit too late in my opinion especially that nexus have lost most of their units already and they are just trying to survive here with the mm -hmm. heroes i would truly like this to work because we could see more action coming in from nexus but i think the key issue key mistake is that the teams are trying to speak too much good place here at the corner and watch out for any incoming just yeah quite so Still a minute left on the clock. Uh, we can see that uh, goblins are also covering their other flank. They have more units left. They know it, and they know they can do this. They are using this choke with the Sicilian militia again. Starwatch in front. The trebuchet is not going to hit anything probably, or not too much, because they might hit their own. Yeah, they just they just did. So this was poorly timed, and this cavalry and all these rushing units just in the all these spikes and everything. This is not going to work. You really don't have time to do anything, but so yeah, they don't have time. They need to rush, but the rushing tactic is not going to work versus well prepared and well placed defense from goblins. So not only they have um, well well prepared defense here on the front line, but also the back line, right? With cavalry coming in for help, the Kalian militia, javelins, pretty much very well prepared first second line of defense, flanking opportunities none because of the how the map is created in this area but for for yeah for what they they had in, in mind from the attackers right this was very well closed in so gg yeah. and goblins is advancing forward yeah totally well played by goblins very impressive for the past battle analysis uh yeah, let's take a look at this so we can see that Goblins enjoy your evening rest of the day depends on where you live and See you next week. Bye-bye. Yeah, bye-bye. See you next week, boys.